Hi, I'm Irfan. In this video, I will share how to create a loading GIF animation using Inkscape and Kim software. Actually, to make the uh, loading animation, all can be done in Kim. However, to do object editing, I prefer to do it in Inkscape. Okay, in Kim, we will create uh, the basic shape of the loading object and the gradient color. In Inkscape, we create uh, frames one by one. Then in Kim, again, we make the animation and export the results. Okay, let's just practice here. Okay, here I open the Kim and click File and then click New. Uh, for width and height, we fill number. Uh, pixel click ok here we use a uh, uh, black for the background and then you can fill manually with a uh, bucket filter okay click a uh, new layer uh, here I type uh, loading Um, sorry, uh, click new layer, uh, the layer name uh, here at the loading and for fill width, we choose a transparency and click OK. And click ellipse tool and select all, control A and click this area like this. And then here I choose a gradient tool. On the foreground, we choose a white color. Great. And here I use a conical asymmetric and create a gradient like this. And for start and point, from this point, for X and Y, here I type a 500 pixel. And from this point, for X, he type uh, 500 and for Y, here I type uh, 1000. Okay. Next. Here I click select, shrink, and here I type uh, 150 pixel and click OK. And then click delete on, on the keyboard. Okay, click select again and click none. Here I check uncheck uh, the I icon. And next you can click export. Okay, uh, the file name. Here I type a uh, loading and click export loading dot png. Click export. Okay. Next, open Inkscape. Here I create a rectangle with a black color for fill for width and height. Here I type a number like this for loading. You can and drag and drop like this and make center with align and distribute. Okay. Here I resize the loading animation, uh, 240 pixel, and make center with align and distribute. Okay, next we create um frames one by one, and here I open a calculator. 
we will, we will create a uh, 15 frames okay three two hundred sixty okay duplicate uh, this frame and then here I open uh, object transform and click rotate tabs and here I rotate this loading animation here I type uh, 24 degrees duplicate again click a uh, loading object click apply duplicate click a uh, loading object apply duplicate again with ctrl D apply duplicate click the loading enemies loading object and apply duplicate apply duplicate apply duplicate again click a uh, loading object click apply duplicate uh, apply duplicate apply or loading object duplicate apply duplicate apply duplicate apply duplicate again and apply duplicate apply okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen okay here i delete this frame and one two three okay and then here I group one by one like this uh, the rectangle and uh, loading object you can group here I group uh, one by one like this with control key okay next you can export uh, control shift e to selection uh, click patch export 515 selected objects Here I save the frames folder, click save and wait. Okay. Mm. Ah, this is a uh, frames of loading animation. Okay, here I open the Kim. Um open uh, the first image, open width and Kim. Okay. Mm. Uh, you can uh, close the, the last object okay here I have file open as a layer uh, open the open uh, frames folder and click second image until the last image okay click open and wait Okay. 
and then you can play in the animation filter animation and click playback and you can play and the result like this okay here are the 15 frames and then here you can export to GIF animation mm. here I tap on loading animation dot GIF click export okay don't forget uh, check don't forget check uh, as animation for this delay between frames where unspaced fit. You I tap uh, 50 milliseconds and click export. Okay, done. Um, you can check the final uh, GIF animation like this. Okay, I think that's enough for this tutorial. Sorry if there is something missing or wrong in this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.